LAPD Chief Michael Moore says his already understaffed department is, quote, strained as officers have spent more than 3,000 hours on duty at the now iconic Ocean View Plaza site in downtown where street artists, vandals, and even base jumpers have created the need for round-the-clock security. The graffiti tower is the subject of a new LA Times column from Gustavo Ariano. Vandalism or street art, what the graffiti-tagged high-rises say about L.A. Gustavo Ariano joins us now with more. So, Gustavo, which one is it? It is both at the same time, and happy Valentine's Day to the both of you. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's, when I first saw and heard about it, I laughed because I thought, this is so L.A. right now. Here you have three abandoned towers, billion dollar development right across the street from Staples Center, an eyesore forever, and people only started really caring about it once street artists, taggers, graffiti artists, whatever you want to call them, started putting up something that is now a worldwide icon. I mean, you could hate it all you want, but it's getting attention from around the world from people who think, wow, that is really cool. And so my challenge in the column was to tell people like, okay, me personally, I actually don't like graffiti at all, but when something like this, what's a true act of vandalism, this abandoned building or the people who actually tagged it up? Well, uh, you, you got some significant pushback, uh, in particular <laughs> from, uh, he ran for L.A. Mayor, Rick Caruso, American businessman, of course, the man behind the Grove and the Americana at Brand. He took to his social media and he says this, what the graffiti-tagged high-rises say about L.A. poses a nonsensical question and suggests an irresponsible debate. He goes on to say, we need to quit becoming a place where criminals flourish and return to being a city where honest and law-abiding citizens do. He has a point, doesn't he? I absolutely agree, especially a city where you have so much corruption at City Hall that, uh, you know, where was Rick decrying all of that? All of a sudden you get taggers, now Rick becomes this crusading uh, public citizen. And look, Rick, First and foremost, you should have tagged me as well. And not only that, you didn't uh, provide a link to my column so your followers could decide for themselves. And when you did the screen grab, you cut out my name. Come on, Rick. In return, I think you should be a true public you know, lover of Los Angeles. LAPD is spending way too much time there. Get your amazing security guards from the Grove and do that round the clock because there's never any crime at the Grove, right? There's never any uh, graffiti at the Grove, right? So get them there. Uh, so what do you think should happen to these towers? Um, should they be demolished? Should they paint over this graffiti? Should, should they become a homeless encampment? What should happen to these towers? It should be a theme park. L.A. should put <laughs> round-the-clock security and charge people, oh, I don't know, $100 to do whatever they want. They have to sign off on something and says, all right, come in at your own risk. If you want to climb up 35 towers and graffiti something, go for it. In reality, I mean, those things should have never been built in the first place. And I think that this is what really irks me. It's that no one was saying anything when these monstrosities were going up and left abandoned. It took mm -hmm. the street art. And look, I do not like graffiti when it's covering those beautiful murals on the 101 freeway of the kids and the weird like Greek pillars coming in near, to, near the cathedral. No, the tagger should be leaving that alone. But when you have these humongous office towers that have been abandoned, it reminds me of that saying that, that uh, George Mallory, a uh, uh, British mountaineer, was told, why do you want to, why do you want to climb Mount Everest? And he said, because it's there. Taggers are going to go when there's a challenge there. And so obviously the city needs to take away the challenge. Will it happen? Ask Kevin DeLeon. Yeah, well, Kevin DeLeon, he's been out front on this and uh, he is saying that they have until the 17th to act. Otherwise, they being the Chinese uh, developer and otherwise they're going to be fined. Uh, we'll see what comes of that. We'll stay on top of this. And by the way, we will have Rick Russo on with us tomorrow night and we will get mm reaction to your reaction I mean, to him. Let's get us both at the same time. Yeah. Come on, that's real TV. I mean, really, True. and he should be plugging your work, <laughs> right? I mean, come on. <laughs> link to it. Well, we'll link God to it you, at latimes.com. You can read uh, Gustavo's work or check him out in social media as well and decide for yourself. Gustavo, always great to see you. Gracias.